Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. A Christian pastor and a fellow street preacher who were arrested for reading the Bible in public have gone on trial in California this week. Pastor Brett Coronado and his colleague Mark Mackey were standing near a government vehicle registration centre when police arrested them. Mr Mackey, seen here, was told by the officer that he could not preach to a captive audience, but as there was no law to cover this, the two men were later charged with trespassing on state property under the California Administrative Code. Pastor Coronado and Mr Mackey are being supported by Advocates for Faith and Freedom, a non-profit religious liberty law company. General counsel for the group, Robert Tyler, said these men were exercising their First Amendment right of free speech. They were simply sharing their faith on public property and we will defend their constitutional right to do so. The Scottish National Party is planning to allocate a named government official to every child in Scotland up to the age of 18. Critics have described the State Guardian plans as sinister and believe they could lead to official action being taken if children are not raised in a government-approved fashion. The Law Society of Scotland is also concerned, with more Rag Driscoll saying the move could be interpreted as disproportionate state interference. She also thinks the proposals could interfere with Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights, the right to respect for private and family life, as there is scope for interference between the role of the named person and the exercise of a parent's rights and responsibilities. A primary school in Sussex has withdrawn a sex education DVD after parents complained about its explicit content. Governors at Turners Hill Primary School ruled that Channel 4's Living and Growing video was not in keeping with the school's ethos. And from September, it will be replaced with a new discussion-based PowerPoint presentation. Oliver Burkham, head teacher of the Church of England School, supports the governor's decision. He said it was decided that all sex education materials should be changed and based more around Christian principles. Former police chief Brian Paddock, who was dubbed the cannabis commander for his relaxed attitude to tackling drugs, has been made a Liberal Democrat peer. Mr Paddock instructed his police officers in South London not to arrest or charge people found with cannabis in the early 2000s. The self-confessed non-conformist, who twice ran unsuccessfully for Mayor of London, says he will not be giving in to peer pressure in his new House of Lords role. Mr Paddock, who was at one time the most senior openly homosexual police officer, is currently joint president of LGBT plus Lib Dems. The Swiss national anthem is set to be stripped of all references to God as a competition is launched to choose a new one. The current anthem is called the Swiss Psalm, with parts of the translated lyrics reading, Thou, O Lord, appear in their light, when the Alps glow bright with splendour, pray to God, to him surrender, that God dwelleth in this land. But competition organiser Lucas Niederberger says he thinks there is a problem with the current text. He explained, Officially the anthem is a psalm, a prayer, but of course we have an open society, religiously neutral. We have atheists, no single God, so this anthem is a difficulty. Mr Niederberger says he wants a new anthem to reflect the Swiss constitution which talks of striving to strengthen their freedom and democracy, independence and peace in solidarity and openness to the world, mutual consideration and respect for differences. The competition, which carries a prize of over £7,000, opens in January and will run for six months. Christina Harugu will be among a number of Christian athletes hoping to win medals at this year's World Athletics Championships, which start this weekend in Moscow. The British 400-metre runner has already enjoyed considerable success in her career, winning both world and Olympic gold medals. But Christine hasn't always had things easy. In 2006, she had to endure a 12-month ban after missing, not failing, out-of-competition drug tests. It was a sanction which was considered very harsh at the time, and she told Premier Radio how the episode was a real test of her faith. I just couldn't understand how everything can be so good at one point and then go, you know, disastrously wrong the next. I mean, it went, it went very bad. It wasn't just, you know, it was it, my, literally my whole world was just torn. Nothing is supposed to be easy. I think God always says, you know, those you travel through the narrow gate or the wide gate, he tells you that it's not going always going to be easy. He doesn't promise an easy life but he promised you that in the storm he'll be there. And I think that's what kind of gave me a good bit of a lift, knowing that it isn't supposed to be, you know, walking the park. It's, these are things to test us. 
and if you're not tested, if you're not kind of gone through the fire, then you can't, you can't really grow, can you? Mm. And finally, former lingerie model Carly Basuti, who gave up her career because it clashed with her faith, has now launched a new style Christian fashion range. Carly says that she had started to feel exploited and sexualized and has now released a book, I'm No Angel, from Victoria's Secret Model to Role Model, in which she tells of the struggle she had faced as a religious supermodel. Kylie said she wanted to stay in fashion as long as it promoted God's kingdom and is now co-owner of the newly launched God-inspired fashion label. The collection features printed words of faith on clothing for both adults and children. Kylie says the fashion range is all about spreading God's word everywhere and making it easier for Christians to share their faith and God's love. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.